coming up, the DH. He's hit in each of his last three games. Swings and sends one in the air. Medium deep left center. Taylor, a really good outfielder, has it. Center fielder catches. He'll throw to third. Tagging and coming home is Laureano. one nothing Cleveland on the sacrifice fly by Will Brennan to the center fielder Michael Taylor. Lee. Well, it's time for Gabriel Arias to take this job and run with it. The pitch swung on, hit pretty well to right. Back goes Kepler, still going back. This ball is high off the 23-foot wall. Ricochets back toward the infield. In with a double is Arias. In to score is Jimenez. Oh, what raw power from Gabriel Arias on a ball that just kept carrying. The Guardians striking with three hits here in the second inning. Open up a 2-0 lead. Looking for more. Still only one out. Swung on. This is hammered to deep center. Falling down as Taylor. Gets back up. It doesn't matter. It's a bomb over the wall in center. Bo Naylor to dead center. A two-run home run to make it 4 nothing Cleveland. That ball just kept carrying. The ball to the outfield. Twins have a chance to jump back into this game. And a balk is called. And the Twins are on the board. Hunter Wendelstead called a balk. And it's a 4-1 ball game. Lotto tied the game dramatically in the ninth inning yesterday. Off the middle. Knocked down. And it saved a run. Nice play by Jimenez. He couldn't get it out. But he kept it from rolling to straw, so only one run scores. He's second of his career, and the 0-1, a swing to fly ball, left center field, deep in the gap. This ball's got some carry at the track, at the wall. That ball's gone, a grand slam. He's done it again. Royce Lewis buys the Cleveland bullpen in left center field. He's done it for the second straight game. Back-to-back -back grand slams here at target field. Here in the third inning. Now he chops one to third. They go to second, they get the force. No, they don't get anybody out. Gloriano, does he realize? I thought he called him safe at second base. They might challenge this. They might have Although to. it might be too late. Might be, yeah, well, it's definitely too late now. Scoring on the Lewis Grand Slam. And the pitch, a swing and a drive, right field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, second deck and gone. Tape measure home run to the second deck in right center for Matt Walner. That's his 10th. And the Twins add on, now lead 7-5. to five. With Arias still at second base. And now here's Quan to bat. Quan 0 for 2, fly out the ground there. 3-1 ball hit high in the air. Deep right center field. Going, going, off the wall for Stephen Quan. Scoring is Arias. And into second base with a two-out RBI double is Quan. Two on and two out. Deep down the left field line. This one will stay fast. Three-run shot for Polanco, 10-6, Minnesota. Pitching 10-6, Twins Danny here in the ninth inning. Five pitches last inning to get three outs. He's only thrown a couple here in the ninth for two outs. And the 2-1 pitch popped up. This should do it. Royce Lewis fitting that he should catch it. He will across the foul line. Ball game over, and the Twins win game one, 10-6, and have upped their first place lead to his season best seven games atop the American Lake Central. Twins 10, Guardians 6 the final, and congratulations to left-handed rookie Cody Funderburk in his big league debut. Inning two-run homer last night gave Cleveland a 4 to nothing lead. Swing and a high drive, deep right field. This ball's got a chance. Gone! Bo Naylor onto the concourse beyond the seats and right. And he has homered three times on this road trip. And back-to-back -back home runs here at Target Field. So he's one out from getting out of this. And there are two down. And now Brennan. Oh, oh it goes off the glove of Vasquez. Racing home Ramirez. The throw is not in time. And the Guardians make it two to nothing. Loaded one away for Cole Calhoun. Guardians have had him on the ropes in every inning. Heats it into the ground. Gallo with the scoop. He'll flip it back to Lopez for the second out of the inning. Scoring is Arias. And it's 3-0 Cleveland. From the fourth, Lewis, who has hit a grand slam in each of his last two games. Driven to left. This time with the bases empty. A Lewis solo home run. Twins trail 3-1. This is ninth of the year. And he got all of that. Two down. Now you have a chance to score a run with a base hit. A swing and a little floater towards center. It gets down for a hit. 
And the steal pays off. Jimenez around third will slide in head first. Clay Taylor as he sends it high and deep to right field. Going back is Brennan on the track. He'll turn to the wall. That ball's gone a home run. Michael Lay Taylor lands one in the dock in right field. A new career high, 20 home runs for Michael Lay Taylor. And the Twins are down by two. It's a 4-2 game here in the ninth inning. Two down. That'll bring up Jorge Polanco. Popped him up behind the plate. Bo ditches the mask near the on-deck circle. Hauls it in. Book it. The Guardians even the series at a game apiece with an impressive and very gutty 4-2 win. Two as the third begins. To right and Kepler into a slide with another catch. Man, can he cover the ground in right field. Walk allowed by Bybee, second this inning, and now he faces Jorge Polanco. Dangerous hitter, had a big home run here in the series opener. And a line drive base hit. Polanco comes through, and two will score. And it's a two RBI single by Polanco. Twins lead two to nothing. So much to like about having Jorge Polanco up in the situation where you really, really desperately need. Well, now he'll hope that Thielbar can strand Arias at third base. It matters little to Stephen Kwan, righty or lefty. He's able to handle both. Base hit left field. Guardians get on the board. Stephen Kwan with his second hit of the game, sixth hit in the series. His 45th run batted in on the year in the leadoff double. The tying run at third, the go-ahead run at second. And Bo Naylor has been announced to pinch hit. As the Guardians' last hope here in the ninth inning. To the backstop, and the tying run is going to score, or was he hit by the pitch? Naylor's heading to first, and that's a key play here. If he was hit by a pitch, the tying run won't score. This is reviewable. That's a swing. <laughs> Regardless of what the intent was, that should be strike three because of the swing. The call on the field is confirmed. He was not hit by the pitch. Minnesota will Big lose bank. the It's two to two. And in scoring position. And now Cole Calhoun will be coming to the plate with two on and two out here in the 10th inning. Calhoun hammers one. High and deep and way out of here. Holy mackerel. Cole Calhoun with a two out three run homer. Busting wide for the Guardians as they take a 5-2 lead in the 10th. My goodness. He's done it again for the second time on this road trip in extra innings. So it's up to Eddie Julian. He had the Twins one last chance. Book it. Oh, my. What a turn of events here in the Twin Cities as the Guardians come to town and take two out of three from Minnesota. And they'll head back home just five games back of the Twins in the AL Central.